Mr. Trek here with another exciting review from Colorado. And we're out here in an undisclosed location in Colorado. We were driving around these farms and we asked a farmer for directions. And we pulled over here and this is kind of what a farmer looks like in Colorado now. He had these really cool plants growing in here, kind of looked like little trees, I'm not sure what they are. And then he had a roadside stand selling brownies. What kind of brownies are these? Good. Oh, I can see you're excited about your new farm here and, and of course I'm sure you have to guard it. But anyway, we're also, for this year, we're going to start doing our truck and trailer tips. for this month that I want to talk about is oil changes. I mean, <laughs> it's something you got to do. It's something you got to do to keep your warranty in effect. It's something you got to do to make your engines last. I'm an old man and so in the 70s, back when this truck was new, we changed oil 2,000 miles. Then it went to 3,000 miles. And now the newer vehicles, you know, that we don't work on, back when I had these older trucks, you know, I would, I would put 100,000 miles on it and be tickled if the engine was still working. But I would it'd replace a lot of alternators, a lot of starters. You worked on them quite often. And, you know, 100,000 miles was a big deal back then. Well, now on a gas engine, you can expect 200,000 miles. On a diesel, you can expect closer to 300,000 miles. Everything has changed and improved. And so the truck manufacturers have also increased the oil change interview. All your maintenance interviews have changed. So we're not still trying to do 2,000 miles to an oil change or 3,000 miles like we did in the 70s. And even though a lot of those fast oil change places still want you to believe that, that you've got to change it every 3,000 miles, look at your owner's manual. It will tell you in there. And it can be anywhere from 5,000 miles to 15,000 miles between oil changes. There's also a thing in most manuals that will be a severe duty. And that means pulling traders and getting things hot and using the trader severely. So so that's a different interval than what a normal use interval is. So you want to look that up in your owner's manual. But today's modern truck uses algorithm, algorithms. I gotta get that word straight. Algorithms. And what that means is the computer measures everything that goes on in the truck. It measures how hot your transmission was, how hot your engine was for how long, uh, you know, the miles, all those things it calculates. And if the engine temperature was higher, if, if the RPMs were running higher for longer periods of time, then the computer knows you were pulling trailers. So it calculates all that and then it comes up and tells you when it's time to change oil. That's the new method of doing it. And that's like the last two new vehicles I bought last year, they both said that in the owner's manual. You look at that and you you go by what the computer tells you to change oil. So I know those fast places, you know, one of them has something to do with bananas and the other one has something to do with peanut butter. But there's a lot of those places that change your oil and they want you to do it every 3,000 miles, of course, because they make more money. But look at your owner's manual and do the wise thing. Sometimes even changing oil too often can like damage your cat catalytic converter. There's a lot of things they're finding out about it and the, ma the, the OEM spend millions of dollars trying to figure out how to make all that work. And it's their warranty that's affected so they're not going to want to pay a warranty on a bunch of engines that went bad because they had to change oil too often. So they know what they're doing. So follow what the, the manufacturer says in the owner's manual. Same way with motorcycles and ATVs. I get so sick of what these motorcycle guys, they try to get you to every 200 hours or, or 3,000 miles, adjust your valves, adjust your drive shafts. You can spend 300 bucks trying to change oil on a motorcycle, which is very irritating to me. So that's a tip for the, for the trucks. For the trailers, something I want to talk about when I pull a trailer, daytime, nighttime, of course nighttime is automatic, but I keep my headlights on. And I do that so that when I look through my mirrors, I can tell if, if the clearance lights or if all my running lights are on, my trailer is plugged in. If something happened where I hit a pothole or who knows what happens and your trailer plug came undone, you'll know it if your trailer lights are out. So keep the trailer lights on all the time you're driving. That way it's a, it's a quick safety thing. Another thing I want to talk about, now we've got these two new load trail trailers, and so that means I've got 14 tires on those two trailers. And I called up the manufacturer for these tires. It's Gladiator out of Arizona, a very good place for testing tires on trailers. And most ST tires, which is what a commercial rating is on a trailer tire. I used to always use my truck tires on my trailer, but if in a commercial application, that's really not legal. You should use the ST. The LTs go in your truck, the light truck. The ST is specialty trailer tire, specialty tire. Supposedly are built better for traders. I think that's a bunch of baloney, but that's what they tell us, and that's kind of the rules. 
But Gladiator, they've got a higher speed limit on these tires, which I like. Uh, most ST tires are rated at 65 miles an hour. Well, Colorado, the speed limit is 75. I can go to Utah and go 80. I can go to Texas and go 85. So people pulling trailers that fast. So I called Gladiator and says, what's the speed rate on these tires now? Because they actually advertise these at a high speed, as a high speed trailer tire. They said that the rating on it is an M. So we've got to look that up on the trailer sidewall and see where we find the M rating. Because you know E is what these are, that's 10 ply, that's the ply rating. M is the speed rating. The M speed rating on Gladiator on these 10 ply tires that I use is 81.25 or something. But it's over 81 miles an hour, which is very good to know that I'm not going to overheat the tire by driving 80 miles an hour. So you want to check that, you want to check your M rating on your trailer tires. Join us next month for another set of truck and trailer tips.